My name is Bo Hickey and I'm a certified strength conditioning specialist. Today we're going to go over eight advanced weightlifting exercises to really help you get more out of your time in the water and help you achieve whatever those goals are you have for your time in the water. These exercises have been picked for someone who has minimal range of motion limitations and has some experience in the weight room. If you don't have that experience or you have some of those limitations, feel free to check out the link below for some demonstrations to modified variations of these same movements. These exercises are great for helping you build strength, prevent injuries, keep that lean body mass under control, and just give you that engine to go out there and achieve what you want to achieve in the water. I recommend completing these exercises two times a week, three rounds through, and anywhere from 10 to 12 repetitions, depending on how you feel. Let's dive in. This first exercise is all about power. So as Whitney is doing here, you start at the bottom of your hinge position. Then you're going to explode up into a jump, giving me a slight shrug of the shoulders at the top. The goal is to go from the stopped position at the bottom of the hinge and power up into that jump, really trying to get some height and then land with control. Next up here, we have the front squat. So the barbell is going to rest on your shoulders and your elbows are up nice and high to give it a shelf to rest upon. Then as Whitney is demonstrating here, lower down into the bottom of your squat, keeping your chest up proud. If you have any sort of writing on your shirt, you should be able to see that writing in the mirror at the bottom of each rep. Then I want you to focus on keeping your knees nice and stable, keep those elbows up nice and high and control your pace. Let's keep it moving right into the trap bar deadlift here. Start by standing up tall and then hinge down to the handles of the trap bar. Grab those handles, brace your core, and then stand up nice and proud. You should try to control your low back positioning and don't let this bar pick up pace as you're lowering back to the floor. Keep it a steady pace throughout the repetition. Focus on a neutral head position, keep that core turned on, and control the weight all the way through. Next up, we have the pull up. What I'm looking for here is an overhand grip, arms nice and long at the bottom, and then pull to get your chin over the bar at the top. Try to avoid swinging forward and back as you complete this motion. And if you need a little assistance, you can utilize a band as Whitney is showing here. Try to pull on a nice straight line, chin over the bar, and then don't drop out of the sky on me. Control it down to that straight arm position. Let's move on to the single arm row. So place one hand flat on the bench, and then I want you in a staggered stance with your legs. Whatever leg is in front, I want the dumbbell in the opposite hand. So as you complete the row, think base of bell to base of hip. This will help you get more lat engagement during your row. Keep your head to your hip in a nice straight line and minimize any shoulder shrug towards your ears. Next up, we're going to focus on a little horizontal pressing here with your alternating chest press with dumbbells. Start with your arms straight directly off the shoulders and then keep that low back press firm to the bench. As you lower one arm down, I want you to keep that other arm as still as possible. This is going to challenge a little bit of core engagement. It's going to challenge your shoulder stability as well. And I want you to really focus on pressing back up to the same spot on the ceiling with each rep. Next up, we have the single arm press. You're going to start with your knees slightly bent, core turned on, and then as you press, I want you to try to get your arm in line with your ear at the top. Now here's the challenge. I want you to control this weight back down to your shoulder. Don't let that weight pick up speed. Keep your core turned on, press up to that same spot on the ceiling with each rep. Here we go, final one of the day. It's the goblet step up. So you're going to hold a dumbbell at chest level. Make sure your whole foot is on the bench that you're using or the box that you're using. Drive up with control, minimizing that knee shake, and then avoid collapsing back down to the floor. Really fight for control all the way down and all the way back up. Again, minimize that knee shake, hold that weight at chest level, and control that pace down and up. I hope these exercises will help you build strength, swim faster, and enjoy a healthier life. For more great swimming information, please like and subscribe to our channel below, and thank you for watching.